Hi guys and welcome to this week's episode of the BCB podcast. I'm joined by Tyler Denny, who's had a huge fight announced, the rematch that we've all wanted to see for months, it feels like now, since the 13th of November last year when he was a uh, cruelly Walked away with a draw against River Wilson Ben. He has another crack at the English middleweight title. Tyler, great to have you on with us. Massive news. You must be thrilled to have finally got that fight tied down and have a date. Yeah, I'm buzzing. It's been it's gonna be seven months by the time it would have come. Um and not only that, we've had like it was meant to happen March, then April, then May, and now it's June, and it's finally like feels like it's, I mean we're not in the ring yet, but it finally feels like it's gonna happen anyway. Yeah, and obviously, after how it finished last time, I, I can't wait for it. Yeah, June 25th is the date uh, in the Sky Dome in Coventry, which is a, a venue I know really well. I used to play ice hockey there as a kid, so it's a great little venue. Um, a good few thousand will be packed in. It's a really strong card as well, and it's on Sky Sports, so it's massive exposure for yourself once again. Yeah, you know what I say? I think the way the controversy is probably made it. Well, it's definitely made it a lot bigger and it's got me out there, really. Not the way I would have wanted it to be, but it, it's, it's still helped me, really. I've had a lot more followers, a lot more messages off people who I don't know saying how, how they felt about the decision. And I'll have a lot more support, I think, coming to the next fight. Now, going back to that now, for those who don't know what we're talking about, um, I say 13th of November last year, the fight was going very much in your favour. You had River Wilson bent hurt, um, caught him with a, a great shot, which opened up a cut. Um, unfortunately, the referee, uh, Ian John Lewis, didn't quite see it that way. How, how was it taking? Obviously, you've had a long time to kind of process what happened now. Is it kind of out of your mindset and, and you're just ready to go? You're not thinking about the kind of the unjustness of the night? Nah, I'm over it, really. I'm over it. And, you know... I'd have been a probably a bit more good. Imagine, say, I felt like I was losing then. I just hit him with a random shot and, like, it's totally against how the fight was going and I could have, like, sneaked to win that way. But because I felt so dominant in there, I've got no issues with a rematch, do you know what I mean? And I'm happy to have the rematch and beat him up convincingly and then move on. Now, there was a lot of people, uh, I've got to say, Partly myself, um, despite what River Wilson Bent said after the first fight that he would take the rematch, I think with the delays and what had gone on, I think a lot of people didn't expect him to. Are you surprised that he's took it after what happened in the first one? Um, he's had he's had two fights since as well. I don't know if he's trying um, a bit of confidence or just to keep active, which you can't blame him. Um, but I don't think he's got much choice where to go. Do you know what I mean? It was with NSC on Channel 5. They've lost the Channel 5. And, you know, they're going to have, he's, and he's saying, I'm going to have a few fighters on Sky, but they want fighters that people are going to want to watch. And obviously, people want to see this fight. So I don't think he had many options at all, to be honest. Yeah, it seems obviously the, the title fight, which it was such an obvious one to make, and we are all thrilled, obviously, that it's happened. As I say, touching on the card, obviously, you're fighting alongside Sam Eggington. You know, he's on that show against Primislav Zayt. And uh, the very exciting Adam Azim, Corey Gibbs, Dylan Cheam are all set to feature as well. So it, it's a it's a big show, it's a packed show, but I imagine you've only got eyes on, on your fight. Yeah, like I said, it is a, it's a good show for the fans and stuff, but I've literally, I'm only interested in my fight and maybe I'll be on a bit earlier so I can watch other fights afterwards or something, but I've got, you know, everyone's good. Everyone would be the same. If you spoke to Sam, he probably couldn't care about my fight, do you know what I mean? But... Um, I'm just buzzing for it. It's been, it's been too long coming and I really feel like I'm going to do a job on him as well. Now, I just looked at um, some photos obviously that were posted up today, uh, training with Nathan Heaney. Um, are you doing anything different this time round? As I said, I, I'd imagine when the first fight went so well, you wouldn't feel you need to make wholesale changes or potentially any changes, but what are you doing in terms of your sparring and, and set up this time round? Is, is there any differences? Um, no, really. I think the most fit from our point of view now, is making sure I didn't peak too early because I've been in the gym all year waiting for this fight. So when they've said, like, rumoured about this state and then we've had to ease back a bit and stuff, do you know what I mean? And then, But now it looks bang on now. It's my first sparring, really. I don't want to be sparring too much. I think you can spar too much. And I love sparring. I'd spar every session, if you know what I mean? And getting some white walls as well. So now the sparring sorted out now for, like, the next four weeks. And then... We gave, but like I am expecting, I am expecting a lot better version of him. Um, I seen his interview the other day, and he's finally admitted it was a 
a punch and he underestimated me. Uh, you know, and he's a lot more humble. But he never seemed like... Uh, he never had that belief, I don't think. I think I beat the belief out of him because... Um, I mean, he, he can be a lot. He can be a nice guy to me. Now he, he can be an idiot. He's going to make no difference. So I'm just going to stick it on him, and I, I just believe the best version of me beats the best version of him. So that's what I need to focus on myself, and I'll get the job done. Now I've had a, a good few weeks, obviously with BCB, with some title wins and some good fights on the road as well. Again, you're going in. I'd, I say as the away fighter, obviously you, you are going out on the card on the right hand side, if nothing else. Are you, do you think yeah. you can have a lot more support coming down with you this time, as I say, after what happened the first time round? Um, potentially, potentially. I'm still waiting on the, on the tickets to arrive and stuff, but I've had, I've had a lot of interest. Um, but, you know, I, I really feel like, I mean, you don't want to stereotypical everything, but like, I feel like I need to get the job done inside the rounds, really. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, if it goes to the end, and maybe I feel like I've won, but I've not got it. I've only got myself to blame. So that I'll be looking to, I'll be looking to get him out there to save any uh, controversy again. Well, that was but saying that, that, I got, I got him out there last time. I got him out there last time, and it was still there. Uh, there, uh, I don't know. Still took away, and obviously will you be uh, keeping a close eye on who they assign as the referee. <laughs> yeah, and the judge maybe, but. Like you say, you don't lose it. I don't think he can even do that fight no more, can he? After the Josh Taylor incident no. and stuff. So, you know, maybe it was the Josh Taylor, but maybe because we we were happy as well. And it's a, a few things accumulated to him getting. I think maybe it's not just the one off, the reason why that. Maybe it's a few things. Maybe our complaint, the Josh Taylor, the, the capture complaint. And maybe he's had a few more complaints. Otherwise, that we don't know about. I don't know. I think it might have been a few things. Well, I think if anything, it's been a lesson to fighters that if you have been sort of dealt with unjustly and, and you've had it unfair, not just to go quietly. You, you made, you know, quite a big a big thing of it and everyone else did that saw the fight. And it, it's one of those, isn't it? You don't get anything if you don't ask, it seems. No, you've got to, You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to. It'd be nice in an ideal world that the board would come out and say, oh, that was wrong, world of this. But, you know, without getting into trouble, the board, like to look after the board, really. Like, and I don't think, I don't, I don't think they accept anything that they've done wrong. Do you know what I mean? So you have to complain with, you know, you don't be rude about it, but you, you just want a bit of justice, really. And yeah. the most I could get was like the rematch. But you know, in an ideal world, I would have wanted. I said I'd happily have the rematch, but met me English champion. I says, do you know what I mean? Met me towards the ring English champion because the, the fight had to be stopped. Either way, act to be stopped. I can't blame the ref for stopping. It's just the reasons as why well he stopped it was wrong. Well, I think a rematch was the bare minimum you deserved. Now, obviously, you, you can't look past this fight. You know, it's the wrong thing to do. But if you do pick up that English title, there's potentially some big fights at British level and beyond. It does really feel like you're having, you know, you've only had, what is it, 17, 18 fights. But it does feel like there's a real bit of momentum behind you now. And you could have a, a very, very good couple of years if things go your way. Yeah, I feel like I'm just improving each fight. You know, the Derek Azazi fight, since I moved up with our all at um, Paul and that at BCB, um, I feel like I'm getting better and better. Um, not many people expected me, apart from people in our gym, expected me to beat Derek. I was a big underdog against River. I think it was, um, it was like 9-1 to one on certain things, for, um, right to one. Uh, and I feel like I've beat him. And, you know... <laughs> Surely you, you got to be in the shop with the British, you, your film English champion. Uh, there's a great fight with uh, Denzel Bentley and uh, Linus Udofia, uh, like my old foe. Uh, I talked to Linus now, and I think he was a close fight. Um, yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, it's a good fight, but you know, th there's no shame in losing when you're at a good level in a uh, good fight. Do you know what I mean? Even even you know, if you, his stocks rose from that, do you know what I mean? So I, I'd happily jump in with Bentley next. But, you know, like I said, I've got to get, uh, get rid of River. Yeah, get through the next one and then uh, the world will possibly be your oyster there. Um, just a quick word before we go, obviously, uh, I should can't not mention Newcastle United, an amazing turnaround the second half of the season. You must be uh, must be thrilled, probably panicking a little bit at Christmas and uh, what an exciting future you've got as a fan of that club. Yeah, I'm about to put another complaint in as well. I can't believe Eddie I don't get uh, manager of the year. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so... 
<laughs> you know, it's yeah. a great job. And, you know, as a Newcastle fan, it's been, it's been miserable under Mike Ashley for how many years and stuff and just flirting with relegation and never doing anything. But then you got players like, like Joe Linton in midfield now since he's been midfield. He's like, not any team, but he'd walk into most teams the way he's playing at the minute. Bruno Gamera, he, he's just like another level. I don't know how we got him. He seems unreal. Do you know what I mean? I think he was linked with Arsenal for, for a while, but he, he chose sense and went to the two. Absolutely. So exciting times for exciting times for Newcastle, exciting times for yourself, Tyler. Wish you the, the best of luck. June 25th, as I say, it's in the Sky Dome in Coventry. If you are after tickets, get at Tyler um, for when those tickets do come through. Uh, and if you aren't able to make it, it will be live on Sky Sports, a uh, show promoted by Ben Shalom. Tyler, thanks so much for coming on. As I say, wish you the best of luck and we'll catch up with you after you get that win. Cheers, man. Thank you. Tyler, thanks.